The shortage of fuel and gas cylinders has affected several sectors across the country including in Colombo. Sri Lanka's only two gas companies halted operations today stating they were unable to import gas consignments. Filling stations were crowded today as well due to the strike by the petroleum tanker owners and the limited supply of fuel. Heavy traffic was reported in some parts of Colombo due to these long queues today. A long queue for petrol was seen at a filling station in Borella today. The ministry secretary says fuel stocks that are usually enough for two days are running out in a couple of hours. Should the people pump petrol for 10 rupees or for their full tank? I have 1,000 rupees in my hand. I don't have money. Those in power don't understand this. They must resign if they can't. Tell the president to resign after addressing the nation. We're not asking for relief under Samurdi or Janasavir. We're asking to buy petrol with the money that we have. This is the time that we must be at work. I came here from Kaduela. There's no petrol. This is a useless government. We are fed up of this. We are facing hard times. But they are travelling on roads freely with their ciders. Long queues for petrol were seen opposite the Nelumpokun theatre in Colombo. Meanwhile, a long queue for gas cylinders was seen near Flower Road in Kolpiti. People had queued up to purchase gas cylinders today. I have been here since 5.30 in the morning. They say gas stocks will arrive here, but there are no new stocks. There is no kerosene. They don't give us the proper assurance. We are in hunger. Our children are at homes. We do business at Golfis. We earn a living by selling vade. We are suffering without gas cylinders. I was in Slave Island until about 1 this morning. We are standing under this heat. What can our children eat? There is no milk powder to at least make some tea. We don't have kerosene oil to light up our oil lamp. Why are they doing this to us? We are suffering. They must resign if they can't do it. A long queue was seen at a filling station at Havelock Town in Colombo. They said they will alleviate poverty. They made poor people even more helpless. We have to pick up our children from school. We have work at home. Then we have to stand in queues for gas cylinders. Is this even a government? This is shameless. I committed a mistake two years ago with my right hand. Now we are suffering. The government must resign if they can't do their job. I work for this party, but now I am fed up. I came here with my two children. To whom can we complain about this? We will have to only complain to God. A long queue of private buses and lorries were seen at a filling station in Slave Island, although there was no diesel. Fuel crisis has affected other parts of the country apart from the capital Colombo. People don't have food. A person engaging in manual labor can't survive. They must resign by allowing a capable person to take over. This system isn't good. There is nothing which Sri Lanka doesn't have. There are gems under this soil. There are fish at sea. There is salt. There is fertilizer, ilmenite and phosphorus. They have nothing to worry about. Foreign entities offered bribes in dollars. All of them destroyed this country. No one should work for a salary to build this country. If anyone comes campaigning for votes, I'll chase them away with a broom. If there are teachers who are willing to work without a salary, let them come canvassing for votes. What is the meaning of this? Those in power are thieves and fraudsters. They are all the same. The voters don't have brains. People who queued up to purchase gas cylinders in Homagama held a protest by obstructing the high-level road. The situation was brought under control with the intervention of the police.